Our next guest is an award-winning singer who has been called the voice of Ireland. And she also happens to play the violin, piano, and guitar. Here to discuss her days with the group The Chorus, her new album. But before all of that, she'll perform is Sharon Core. Sharon Core, welcome. Something he should know by now That every time I leave I miss you more than all the times before As I stand here watching you sleep And take a minute just to let out time oh, One more moment for a little Take a minute Time is running I have to go But as I turn to leave I see that look You know you cannot hide Every time we say goodbye And take a minute Just to let much for that. Oh, Thank that you very amazing. much. Amazing. Thank you so much. We're Thank all you. both to the side like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so swaying. <laughs> so soothing. We were both yeah. stressed this morning and now oh. we're immediately at ease. Oh, I'm yes. glad I could yes. do that. Thank, Thank you. you. Beautiful woman, beautiful voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So well. what's it feel like to be back on the scene? I know you just completed your North American tour. Yeah. Yeah. And before you even branched out on your own, you were part of the best-selling group, The Cores. Yeah. What's it feel like to be a solo artist, and how have you enjoyed being on your own? I, I love it. I mean, I love being completely in control artistically. Um, and, and for me, it's kind of great, because if I write a song, I take it uniquely down my road, and mm -hmm. I have my own journey with every song and every album that I make. So. Um, I love it, and touring America has been fabulous because you guys really appreciate good music. And mm. I had a ball every night on stage, <laughs> so much so that I just want to stay here. You know, it's just, it's a wonderful place for music. Well, stay. You yeah. I will, I'll stay, <laughs> okay. We like you on this side of the pond. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I have to ask you, your 2010 debut solo album, Dream of You, it was yes. an international success. Yes. So does that make recording the follow-up more difficult, easier, more stressful, what? 
for me, it's just always about being better at what I do. So I, I don't, I don't really pay much attention. I, I don't put myself under that type of pressure, mm -hmm. if you know what mm -hmm. I mean. The pressure for me is to write a great song, to love singing it, to get on stage and just have a ball and entertain the audience and make them feel like they felt something really special when they're there with me on the night. So, mm -hmm. for me, that's the kind of that's always the goal, and that will always be the goal. You this know. This is some of your most intimate work to date. Where do you find inspiration for your lyrics and your music? Well, everyday life, really. I mean, I, uh, you know, for example, one of the songs on the record is called, um, you know, Edge of Nowhere, mm -hmm. and that's really about being a musician and on the road and always being on the outside of a normal life, sort of looking in and, you know, every so often you go, am I getting this right? You know, my kids are at home, I'm in the States. Is this, you know, is this the right move? And then the minute I get on stage, I know it's the right move mm -hmm. and it, it's a great thing. But, and Take a Minute is about that moment where you leave your loved ones and you want to kind of suspend time and you want to stretch that moment and make it last forever so you kind of mm -hmm. don't ever have to leave, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, everything. Very autobiographical. Very autobiographical, mm. but I, I think it has to be because I think if you tell the truth and people recognize it as such, and then they identify because we all ultimately feel the same. Mm. That's true. You know? They can yeah. feel that authenticity. They can. And mm. connect I think with so. the music more and own it themselves as yeah, well. Yeah, because I think you, you know, we, we, you write, you try to write something new every time, but really you write an you write about an experience, and mm. at some stage in our lives, we all experience the same things. Mm. So well, sure. the mm -hmm. Philadelphia Inquirer loved all of your experience. They praised your new <laughs> <Wow>. album, <laughs> saying, "Quote: Classic sounding without being bound to the past." What do you think of that assessment? Mm. I, I, I'm very happy with that, and that's exactly what I want to achieve. I mean, you know, one of my favorite artists is Robert Plant, and he, you know, is not bound by the past. He constantly moves forward, and, and he changes up what he does. He's almost like a chameleon, and Raising Sands was just an epic album, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was brave, and I think it's really important as an artist never to stagnate. You need to mm -hmm. keep progressing forward, you know? Yeah, well, but... progressing forward, but can we talk about the past really quickly? Sure. Will there be a... <laughs> oh, absolutely pleasure, A yeah. Coors reunion? Yeah. Um, you know, we don't have any plans. Okay. Uh, well, while you're on the road, sure, you might as well I? bring them on back out. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, I do, I do <clears throat> sing with them every so often, and we do, you know, if I'm doing concerts, like Jim joined me mm. in Germany, and we did some of the Coors hits together, and my sister Caroline joined me in Amsterdam last year, and um, so, you know, we do that from time to time. We don't, my, my sister Andrew, has a four-month-old oh, wow. and a two-year-old so she's kind of in the sort of swamp of motherhood at the moment yeah. which is wonderful and it's a time to really cherish you know it's true mm. hard yeah. to be on the road when you have toddlers you can't. Yeah. I mean you're just gonna be neglectful if you do that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so besides being a great auntie what's next for you um, oh my god what's next um, oh well, I we um, I'm I'm in Spain doing a tour I'm in I, I go to Brazil um, I've got about six dates in Brazil. I go to the UK, I release the album there. I've got a full tour of the UK and Ireland. Wow. I, I'm constantly touring him, but, but that's what I do. That's, you know, it, it is what I love, so, mm. yeah. Wow, you're in the right business for it. Yeah. So, I am, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, I know. Keep up the great work. Yes. Thank you so much well, for coming Well, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. back yes. I will, yes. I will. Yes. I will. Yes. It won't right. keep me Don't away. Don't get stuck in Brazil. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. When the moment's for when 